Hello everybody, it's me, ProgamCuber17, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my baseball game in Scratch. So now I'm going to show you guys my final product, and after that, I have a special second part that I made, and after I show you guys that part, I'm going to be showing you guys how I programmed my Scratch video. So now, let's look at my first part. So the pitcher gets ready, and then I made the, I made the baseball ball pop up, and I made the batter hit it, and then I made it go to the, into the outfielder's hands, and then I made the ref say that you are out. And then I made a second extra part, and... Now let's see that one. So it starts off the same, but when the pit, but when the bat batter hits it, it goes a different way, and it goes off the screen, and the screen says home run. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you guys how I programmed my baseball to move. So I made it hide right in front of the pitcher so when it's hiding there i make it go to like the spot where it's supposed to be where it's in where it's in the pitcher then i make a wait four seconds and and then it shows it and then because i want it to go smooth i got took the glide and i made it glide into the area where the um batter's bat comes out and then i made it wait one second so the batter hits it and then like goes on to its next page. And then I make it glide in into the outfielder's hands. Then I make it hide. And then when I, for the second part, I do the same exact thing. But I make it glide to a different position in the thing. And then I make it hide again. So now let's look at the batter. And in the batter... The battle was pretty simple, like just like I showed you guys how to switch costumes. That's technically what I just did right here, but just made the weights seconds um a little bit more than how I showed you it. And so I did that same thing for both of them. Now the catcher, the catcher was the same same for both of them. It was just like the batsman to batter too, so that looked the same. The pitcher was the exact same. Like how I showed you guys how to switch costumes, outfielder. Um, just changed. I just changed the wait times a little bit more, and the switch costumes was the only part for that. The referee for this one, the first part and the second part were a little bit different, different only. So like for the beginning part of it, I just did like the normal stuff, and then the end, I said like I made it say that you're out. When it went into the outfielder's hands. And for the second part, because it didn't go into the outfielder's hands and the batter wasn't out, I didn't make him say anything in the end. And then the home run um character, I it didn't come in the first part, so I didn't need it that way. And so like I did the one space key pressed, and then I made it hide. And then I made a wait 12 seconds so the, all, the, all the rest of the stuff finishes. Then I make it show. So it comes up like that. And that was how I programmed all of my characters. That's all for this video. And next time, I'm going to be showing you guys how some basketball characters move. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a basketball game out of these characters.